I think that we have reached a pivot, uh, an inflection point in the development of the uh, society today and our civilization. I think that we reached the point where we uh, cannot develop outside the ethical framework anymore. We have uh, we have, we have been trying very hard to, to find uh, uh, technological solutions to the problem we face. It doesn't work. And uh, the reason is very clear. We have to change ourselves in order to be able to develop. To, to, to develop. It's not the problem with the environment. It's the problem with us, with our belief that we can uh, continue uh, relying on the resources, natural resources forever, uh, uh, on a planet which has a limited uh, uh, resources. So actually, in order to change that, we need uh, to, to have uh, uh, an ethical vision, which is lacking today. And Earth Charter is exactly the document which provides such a framework. That's why I am fascinated with it, the document that I can tell you that uh, having been involved in its development from the very beginning, I feel that it has impacted me as a human being as well. So I hope that we will achieve a point when uh, the Earth Charter will become a necessary, uh, let me say, reference point for the behavior of the humans uh, in uh, the current stage of the world. The, 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 the big problem that you are referring, that the politics is skidding backwards. It just uh, has lost traction with the, uh, the globalizing world, because politics remains the dominance of the national interests today. And um, uh, it is in a huge contrast with the uh, economic globalization which is underway today. So that creates this uh, rift between uh, the uh, public good, common good, and national greed. I think that uh, uh, the uh, document like Earth Charter could uh, boost the, uh, the multilateral process which is lagging behind today and uh, force it to catch up with the globalizing world.